In this week's adventure, using Inventor, we're going to create a trace of a, a follower relative to the shaft uh, using dy dynamic simulation and the trace capabilities within it. Go ahead and run the simulation here and you'll see the shaft rotating around and the lever kick up and down. And what I need to do here is to create a cam. And I'm going to do that using the tools in dynamic simulation. So once I run the simulation I'm going to open up the output grapher and actually go ahead and create a, a new trace in here. So I'm going to add a trace and it's going to ask me to uh, select the origin. And I'm going to select this part right here and then what I'm going to do is reference actually the shaft that I've created. What I want to do is uh, have the trajectory selected and the color, I can go ahead and change it to a uh, different color. Uh, in this case, we'll choose orange since it's a holiday Thanksgiving season. And we'll go ahead and uh, apply that. So if I go ahead and take a look at that, you can see it traced uh, what it would look like a, a cam follower on there. Um, in my output graph, where I'll maximize or minimize that. And under the traces, we can see that we have a uh, trace that's created. So I have an option here to export to sketch. So I'll go ahead and export that uh, to a sketch. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, shaft to create that cam on. And it'll export it to that shaft uh, component. So now I'll go ahead and exit into the construction mode and then switch back to actually to the assembly uh, environment out of dynamic simulation. And the last part of this is I have to uh, go ahead and edit the uh, shaft part and then I'll go ahead and uh, create a shaft or a cam that's connected to this shaft. And I'll go ahead and see the sketch that it created. Uh, I'll go ahead and edit that and go ahead and offset this cam. Then I add my value here. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude this. We'll use a mid-plane option and a value of 15. So I can see I actually wanted to add a little bit more to this extrusion to make it uh, one piece. So I'll go ahead and add the uh, inner part profile here. So I'll just reselect my profile here. Get the inside one is the one I need. And now I have a nice cam uh, that I can actually go ahead and uh, run the simulation and use the trace option and it will uh, allow me to create that cam quite easily. Now if I return back to the dynamic simulation settings, I can go ahead and uh, rerun this simulation. And there you have it. An easy way to create a cam using dynamic simulation and inventor.